Hello children today we are going to start with our next chapter of environment standard 5 lesson number 8 a treat for mosquitoes okay first see your common disease okay there are two categories in common disease first the disease which spread from one person to another which are the disease that spread from one person to another and by whom by mosquitoes and house fly and if mosquitoes or house fly bite then what will happen you will have malaria dengue or chikungunya okay what are the symptoms of malaria how you will come to know that you have malaria okay for that you will have high fever you will have fever with shivering and you will feel weak also then symptoms of chikungunya dengue are little bit same only okay you will have headache you will have pain in your body okay muscles you will feel low also so if you are having this types of uh, symptoms then naturally you will go to doctor you will have fever and you will take tablets at home first your parents will give tablets at your home but then also that fever is not going still you are becoming weak then you will go to doctor then doctor will also give you medicine for one two day and then also if you are not feeling well then then doctor will ask you to do a blood test okay what is blood test blood test means when you will go in the laboratory what they will do they will prick in your finger and they will take two three drops of blood and after taking that blood what they will do with that blood sample they will look into the microscope and in microscope it uh, the sample which is very small it will look bigger and in that they will find out they will get that there are some bacteria of malaria okay and then in the report they will write that there is a malarial uh, parasite uh, in your blood that will be written okay then we'll come to know that we are having malaria and doctor will give do uh, tablets according to that malaria okay now in which season malaria is common in which season it spread it mostly spread in rainy season you know so mosquitoes get suitable environment to breed in the rainy season and like this they spread more disease and to protect ourselves what will do at your home to protect from the mosquitoes what will do okay will use mosquito repellents which comes in coils liquids and mats will use mosquito repellents cream will use mosquito mats then will keep our surrounding clean and will remove the stagnant water from near our house okay you know all mosquitoes look same but all mosquitoes bite does not spread malaria you know that uh, malaria is spread by the female anopheles mosquito only okay when it bites the female mosquito bites then only malaria is spread female mosquitoes is having a brownish body with a spotted wings now let's see mosquitoes life cycle okay you saw when uh, sometime there are some stagnant water near a, near your house or wherever okay then this mosquito what they do they lay eggs in the water and when from the eggs larvae come out and uh, slowly slowly from the larvae a pupae comes out from the shell and this pupae little uh, slowly slowly it becomes a big mosquito in the water only and when it completely grows it come out of the water and it becomes a big mosquito 
it is the same cycle of female anophile also here is one video just watch it all mosquitoes feed on nectar and decaying matter but females also seek human blood which is needed to reproduce to locate their next meal mosquitoes use their keen ability to detect carbon dioxide the gas we exhale and they can sense it from up to 200 feet Mosquitoes lay their eggs in or near a water source, and eggs hatch when the temperature reaches 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, it is vital to eliminate standing water breeding sites such as rain gutters, planters, buckets, and tires from around your home. Because mosquitoes can produce up to 300 eggs at a time and up to 3,000 offspring in their three-month lifespan, it is critical to For most of us, mosquitoes and other flying insects are a nuisance, disrupting neighborhood barbecues, family playtime, and relaxing evenings on the patio. But they also carry and spread a variety of diseases and infect. Here is one medicine, okay, for malaria. Okay, medicine for malaria. From early times, the dried and powdered bark of chinchona tree was used to make a medicine for malaria. In olden times, there were no medicine. So, there was one tree, chinchona tree, and these people used the bark of this tree to make the medicine. What they were doing? Earlier, people used to boil. They used to boil. Usko boil karte the bark of, uh, boil the bark powder and strain the water which was given to patient. Okay? That bark they were boiling and that boiling and that they were giving to the patient but now tablets are made from the from this bar now tablets are given to the patients okay now let's see the second category first we saw that the disease which spread from one person to another now we'll see the disease which do not spread from one person to another is anemia and anemia due to lack of iron in body so for, for what for that what we have to do we should eat iron rich food like apple beetroot spinach etc okay what do you mean what do you mean by anemia anemia means when there is less hemoglobin or iron in the body okay and how do you get the things which will be rich in your body okay so nutrients will mix in your body for that in your body you should have carbohydrate vitamins proteins fats these things should be there in your body will make your body rich okay now if a person is having anemia what things they should eat so that person uh, persons uh, should have amla jaggery and they should eat more leafy vegetables okay now what are the symptoms of anemia okay it affects both mental and your physical body children will do not grow well they even not able to study okay so for that what will be done doctors will give you some iron tablets okay now here are two uh, reports so when a person or a child is having anemia what doctor will ask you to do they will ask you to do the blood test okay now here are two reports okay in first report you will see the hemoglobin is only 8 gram but after taking the iron medicines eating enough uh, leafy vegetables fruits okay now again that person did the blood report doctor will ask you to take again the blood test and in another report you will see now the hemoglobin has been increased okay now it is 10.5 okay so by eating good food fruits vegetables your uh, hemoglobin will increase okay now for that you should eat 
मोर लीफी वेजिटेबल्स लाइक स्पीनेज मेथी यू शूड इट जैगरी विच इज वेरी गुड फॉर योर बॉडी ऑल्सो एंड इट इज वेरी गुड फॉर आयरन ऑल्सो एंड डॉक्टर विल गिव यू सम आयरन टैबलेट्स ऑल्सो ओके नाउ यर इज वन पोस्टर कैन यू सी दिस पोस्टर इन दिस पिक्चर वॉट इज रिटर्न यर दिस पोस्टर यू मस्ट हैव सीन इन नियर योर हाउस और इन द हॉस्पिटल्स ऑल्सो ओके वॉट इज रिटर्न यर इट इज रिटर्न आर यू इन्वाइटिंग मॉस्किटोज बी वेर सो दे स्प्रेड बिकॉज दिस मॉस्किटोज दे स्प्रेड मलेरिया डेंग्यू चिकनगुनिया सो यर वॉट इट इज रिटर्न दैट डोंट लेट वॉटर कलेक्ट अराउंड योर हाउस फिल अप द पिक्स ओके अगर खट्टा है कहीं पर है तो वॉटर विल बी देर ओनली सो वी हैव टू फील दैट पिक्स कीप द वॉटर पॉट्स कूलर्स एंड टैंक्स क्लीन आपको अपना घर के जो मटके हैं ठीक है कूलर्स एंड टैंक्स उसको अच्छी तरह से साफ सुथरा क्लीन रखना चाहिए दे शुड बी ड्राइड एवरी वीक उसको सुखाना भी चाहिए ऐसा नहीं कि बस उसको साफ किया देन अगेन विल फील वाटर नो वी शुड ड्राई ऑल्सो उसको सुखाना भी है यूज मॉस्किटो नेट्स टू प्रोटेक्ट योर सेल्फ स्प्रे कैरोसिन इफ वाटर हैज कलेक्टेड एट सम प्लेसिज ओके अगर कहीं पर पानी है डर्टी वाटर इज देर देन यू हैव टू स्प्रे कैरोसिन नाउ य पोस्टर से समथिंग अबाउट लार्वे वॉट आर दोज आई टोल्ड यू वॉट आर लार्वे ओके दे आर बेबी मॉस्किटोज बट दे डोंट लुक लाइक मॉस्किटो एट ऑल बिकॉज I before only I told you the more the life cycle of mosquito that from the larva pupae comes out and from pupa a big mosquito grow okay and mostly where did we see them there so here it is written that there was an old pot lying behind our house so one pot was there which was lying behind their house ha ghar ke piche chhota sa pot tha it was full of water for some days for some days there was water in the pot kisi ne pani nahi nikala tha to the water was there in the pot when i looked there i saw some tiny thread like thing swimming so when that girl she saw in that pot she saw some tiny chote chote gray color ke something she saw that something is swimming in the pot and i was surprised that this had come out of the eggs which mosquito lay in water water and they are called larvae okay and they spread disease then she is a auntie told me that even flies spread disease especially stomach problems but flies don't bite they then how do they spread disease okay and which disease are spread by flies and how flies sit on dirty things and germs stick to their hair and legs when they sit on our food or utensils they transfer the germs into our food which makes us ill house flies spread disease like diarrhea cholera typhoid etc okay now a scientist peeps into the mosquitoes stomach okay one scientist was there ronald ross he did an experiment he peeped into the mosquitoes stomach and he did one experiment that it's a very long story of this ronald ross i hope if you are having textbook you can just go through that story given in the textbook okay then ronald ross chased a lot of mosquitoes did lot of experiment and found that malaria is caused by only female anopheles mosquitoes which are brownish in color with spotted wings Ronald Ross won a Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1902 for his 
discovery i hope children you must have understood okay now let's do this flow chart once again okay now common disease the disease the, which spread from one person to another like mosquito house fly malaria dengue chikungunya okay when you know any mosquito it bites it bites any person who is already having malaria anything and when that mosquito bites to the healthy person that person will also have the same disease okay now for that if we are having this disease is what will happen first will have the fever and after fever then doctor will ask us to take the blood test okay blood test prevention i told you before only that they prick on your finger and they take the blood in the injection and from that injection they take the blood on the slab glass slab and they look into the microscope okay then they come to know that which disease we are having okay then blood test prevention for that we need medicine blood test prevention fill pits agar kahi khadda hai pani bhara hua hai then we should fill it other so that mosquitoes will be not there and no disease will be spread then keep pots and tanks clean and dry ghar ke jo matke hain usko roz daily you uh, your mother must be cleaning only throwing that old water yani jo kal ka pani hoga she will throw and again she will fill the new water saaf sutra water she fills in the pots then tanks we are having that should be clean every week it should be clean and dry usko sukhana bhi chahiye aisa nahi hai ki aapne clean kiya and immediately you fill the water it should be dry also sukha ke rakhna hai uske baad the water should be filled then use mosquito nets if there are more mosquitoes in your house then we usually use mosquito uh, coils mats net we should use mosquito nets then spray kerosene on collected water if water is there then we should spray kerosene and medicine in olden time the medicine was been made from the chinchona tablet bark powder okay now we are getting tablets before they were using the bark of the chinchona tree and they boil the bark powder and that was given to the patient but now we are getting tablets and the second category is do not spread from one person to another is anemia when there is less hemoglobin or iron in your body you will have anemia and why due to lack of iron and in body and for that what you should do you should eat iron rich food like apple beetroot spinach methi like this thing you should eat so i hope children you must have understood the lesson thank you